Don't make me shoot you. Don't come any closer. Don't come any closer. I'm telling you. Don't come any closer. Hey guys, this is Whitey from Whitey's Wicked Workshop. Let's check it out. Okay, these are all the parts for the build, including some button screws, M3 button screws. I have them here. You need a little bit of filament from your 3D printer. You need some springs. These are the springs I got and I cut them down. You could also try doing the other thing as per the instructions. I was playing around with it and it looks like it, it, it actually does work. But I didn't put the spring on. I'm not going to be shooting it back and forth. So I'm just going to put it together. So I super glued it on there so it won't pop off. That's a biggie. So the first thing I do is I move everything I don't need. <laughs> so for this, I only need the, this guy here and one of, one of the screws. So now I'm going to stick this in the hole over here, trigger down. As you can see, you start to see it there. And I'm going to grab it and it kind of just, you just let it go all the way through. So that way your spring is kind of sitting down here. Now you grab these two guys. They're normally like this, 3D printed. But this is how you want to put them together. You snap in together nice. This part goes towards the rear. I'm going to take this time to thank the Patreon members. Thank you. You want to put this piece in first. And make sure you put it above the spring. Okay, now it's kind of hanging out in there. Now I'm going to take the trigger. Take it back a little bit. This part's kind of tricky. You got to stick your, your pinky in here. Kind of grab, grab the trigger and kind of move it around. That way you could find the screw hole. Grab your screw. Stick it in. Get it started. Now you should see a little tension on the trigger. That's good. Keep that guy inside. You should hear it rubbing up against the spring. So now you want to grab your, your hammer and you stick this part in first. Like I said, I'm not going to use the other spring. Oh, sorry. I almost skipped a step here, but you need to take your, your filament and there's two holes here and you want to shove a filament through so that way it's so that way it looks like that and then you want to cut these flush on both sides so you shove this part in first and you put the, the filament part up on the hammer. You see that? This is wrong. So you need to have it up inside. Then you gotta line up the... kinda grab it here perfectly and stick your other screw inside. Tighten that down. Now I got the trigger action 
And if I pull it back hard enough, it'll actually lock the hammer. So I'm thinking that it used to do some kind of action, but it's it's not recommended. It, I tried getting it to work, but it, it's it's too much of a pain. So what I'm gonna do now is now I take this piece here, and this is pretty much just to hold my filament in. I'm sticking it up. Is this the right way? No, I want to take it that the other way. So you want to put it in like that. So that way it's just kind of holding the um, filament in place. And you want to put this up against. And then it looks like it actually belongs there. So I'm not going to glue it in place because I'm going to rip everything back apart and sand it down to paint. So then another piece is this one. And I seen it all it is is for this area here. If you did want to play around with it and get it to work, this will go back and forth and kind of hold it in its place. But I'm just gonna paint it and glue it in place right there. Then also you get a little block like this. To put the two pieces together. I have mine in right there. Then you just sand this down so it so it fits in nicely. I don't have mine sanded yet, but you can see that it kind of rocks around. Yeah, you don't want that. You want it to sit flat, flat up against. So that way you could glue it, glue everything together, glue this all. And then it'll go together nicely. There's also one more piece, and that's that's this one. I tend to use this guy a lot on for greeblies ever since I found it. Uh, it's pretty cool, but use that for inside here. Inside the barrel. Just to give it a kind of cool look. There you go. You can paint it different colors or Whatever, put lights in there if you want. So that's the basic assembly. I'm going to rip it all apart, like I said, and prep it for paint. Don't forget the bloopers at the end. So I got this all painted gold. So for some reason, I decided to paint it gunmetal gray. Why? <laughs> then I painted it black again. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to stick the uh, trigger in here. I'm all painted up. Oh, that looks nice in there, gold. Oh yeah. Shove that spring down. Get my finger out of the way. Make sure I put it that it's this way with this catch down. And I shove that guy in, let go. Boom, that's going to work. Now I'm going to be able to fit this guy in. And before you put the screw in, shove it down in and get. Yeah, it's a little tight now that I painted it. Make sure you get, make sure you get that part inside. Doesn't really matter since this piece isn't really going to move anyway. Find a screw. So I'm going to get some glue wherever it's at. Put a bunch on this one. Let's see, I think I want to look at hit it with some accelerant there. So not recommended to use accelerant. 
it screwed my paint up bad. I'm just kind of going to let that sit like that for a while. Then we'll come back and make the finishing touches on the paint and everything. All right. All right, now we have our other piece here. You just want to slip it over the top there. And you kind of want to just push it all the way down so it looks like it fits in. There you go. Your assembly is complete. Now it's just all about painting. This is where I should have stopped. Disclaimer. Clear coat can ruin your day. Oh yeah. And it comes out quick. So I used a uh, flat crystal clear, hoping that it takes the shininess to flat. I don't know, I never never really messed around with clear too much. Kind of be careful with the clear coat. This is what it does. Like I said, I haven't really done clear coat, but it looks like looks like it really goes on quick. So gotta stay further away with this paint. I'm going to mess it up over here. Yeah, we'll see what this looks like at least. I'm making a mess out of this. Not in the mood for this today. Got to be careful with this clear coat, man. It's crazy. Clear coat. Check. As we go, a little something like this. Hit it. I'm going to hit it right now. There we go, boys. Mm-hmm. With the way this thing's being a pain in the arse, I'm thinking I would have had a better chance of uh, maybe hand painting it. I mean, look at. I think I'm gonna have to hand paint that stuff anyway, just to give it a nice, nice look. I do not like clear coat. I don't think I know how to use clear coat. Because every time I use it, this happens. I think I'm putting too much on. Too close. Really comes out of that can. <sighs> Looking crappy so far. Looking crappy. Clear coated this gold. Totally ruined it. Not good, man. Not good. But then again, it's not really supposed to be gold. It's going to be a lot of touching up on this guy. I'll tell you that much. Look at it. Looks like crap. The only thing that looks good is what I just painted here. I'll get it. I'll fix it. Look at there's fingerprints in there because as like, soon as you pick it up, it feels like it's dry. But then you're like, ah, oh, man, son of a... So pretty much starting all over again. <laughs> These things fight me, man. I don't know what to do. It's fighting me. So I'm learning a lot about paint this time around. Everything about the DLT 19X went smoothly. I mean, other than the one piece I had to fix. This thing has been a cluster, if you know what I mean. Uh, like trying to get the different colors, using this crappy clear coat. I mean. I don't have a lot of experience with clear coating, but I don't like it. I, I think that I'm, I might be. Comes out a lot different than spray paint. It comes out like a lot, and so I'm over here busy. That's what it did. It kind of turned it into 
like orange peel because uh, I think it was too much or should have just did like a real light layer but another thing to look out for um, with with painting in general I, I I did this with primer and it it really filled in the details where I want to have details so I'm in here with a file like trying to get the primer stuff out so that way it'll look the best you know what I mean it has to look good so I should have probably not touched this so much with the you can see how there's like it really filled these in with primer like look watch this one look at so all that in with, with primer primer filler I should say and it takes away on the look so I gotta get all that crap out of there so it will look good the other day I came down and I was having problems on this because this has been nothing but problems I thought it was gonna be such an easy prop to do I mean it's minimal parts I put this and this together glued it together yeah that probably went well but now trying to paint all these different things it's been a pain like n nothing's worked out right so far on this and it all stems around that damn clear coat but I do have to say that I do not have a lot of patience when it comes to things Sometimes you have to kind of walk away for a little while or maybe even a day. <laughs> Just walk away. Walk away and come back fresh. If you want to play, you got to learn the game. Again, it's supposed to be a flat black and it's like shiny. I don't get it. But that is how it's going to stay, my friend. Because I'm done messing with this. To take a little bit of the shine off, I'm going to hit it with this. You better like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe right now. That's right. And the bell. Click that little bell. Click the bell. All right. <laughs> Hope you like this video. Uh, let's see. The Frog Lady Challenge is coming up uh, May 4th. So it'll be here before you know it. All right, I hope you liked this episode. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.
Hi, I'm Whitey from Whitey's Wick Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to make this. This is Mando's Pistola. Yeah. I'm going to have to say that this thing fought me to the end. It's not 100%, but it came out okay. Dang it! Don't forget to check out the bloopers at the end. Don't forget to check the bloopers out at the end, mother butter. What are you looking at, mother butter? I'm gonna rat the tat tat that ass. <laughs> you know it's not polite to point weapons at people. You know that, right? <laughs> well, this is a fake one, man. So chill out. I used to know this one girl who she used to flip out and like scratch the hell out of you with her fingernails just when you pointed a rubber band at her you know like you were gonna shoot a rubber band at her it drove her crazy imagine if i was doing this to her <laughs> don't forget about this guy over here Um, starting to put kind of props behind me. Uh, there's the DLT over there hanging up against the, the droid. Yeah. So, uh, peace out, man. Is it too big? I'm not sure. It feels big, but I've never seen the the um, I've never seen the weapon in, in real life, so I have no idea. Some people to said to uh, in the comments for this on Thingiverse, um, they said to make it a little bit smaller, but yeah, I don't know how to read, so I missed that part. <laughs> Microphone track one two one two.